We live right now on Pop Up TV. It's a movie every time. And we're standing right now at High Volume Live. I'm your host, I am High Volume Music Live. Thank you for correcting me, brother. Give me something right there, man. Yeah. High Volume Music Live. Y'all make sure y'all look that up and come and have a great event. But uh, this is Aunt Boogie. I'm going to let everybody introduce themselves real quick. What's going on, Aunt Boogie? Hey, y'all. How y'all doing? Welcome to High Volume Music Live. I'm Aunt Boogie. I'm Kimberly Townsend, I'm the manager. I'm Wanda, part owner. Part owner right there, she, she slid that in there, real nice. What's up man? I'm Prince Frazier and I do everything he tells me to do. <laughs> he is very obedient, that's that Boogie's son right there, that's Prince. No wonder he named him after Prince anyway, you know. And Boogie is a big Prince fan, we know that off of Facebook for sure. I know when Prince passed, it hurt my boy. I had to call him, man, see if he was all right. Man, what's going on, man? How, how you doing this event tonight? Man, everything's good. Just, uh, you know, hanging in there, getting ready to uh, congregate with a bunch of great people here at High Volume Music Live, have a little fun, listen to a little old school, a little Zydeco soul, some Prince and some hip hop. You know, we're just going to do it up over here. Uh, I'm really glad that um, they're having the festival here. This is a really good look, and uh, I hope that uh, it continues to go on for years to follow. Man, quick question. How long have you been a Prince fan? Ooh, since 1978. 1978. Y'all see it first. Hey, that's one of the biggest Prince fans I done came across right there, man. I ain't going to lie to you. Man, show us this shirt you got right here. Uh, so, um... Here, can I stand on this side? Can I go over here? So uh, a few years ago, this was before Prince passed away. Um, he came out with a song called The Breakdown. So I got together with some friends of mine, uh, Camonte, Jeff, and some other guys, and put a band together called The Breakdown Band. And uh, it's uh, an official Prince and Minneapolis music tribute band. Uh, there was a music festival, and I was like, hey, it would be a good idea to have somebody do some Prince songs. So I put the breakdown band together, and um, they've been going strong since. Man, how long, how long have you had High Volume Music Live? Okay, I've had High Volume Music Live going on three years. I opened it February 21st, 2015, and um, we're about to be three years old in just a few months. And uh, it came, um, I used to have a music store called High Volume Music over on West Belford in Southwest Houston. Yeah. And we used to do shows, poetry shows, block parties and everything. And I wanted to continue the tradition, but I didn't want to do a music store again. I wanted to do a venue where bands could come perform and have excellent sound and lighting and everything. So, um, you know, it's been a blessing. It's, 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 a, it's a struggle sometimes, but... Quick thought, man. The one I noticed that Aunt Boogie had that heart is when I found out he had the men's home and he takes care of a lot of people, a lot of disabled veterans, and everybody that really needs some help, needs somewhere to be. And uh, just want to let you know the community appreciates you for Thank all you that. Thank you very man. much, man. I appreciate that. I love my people. I love Houston. Go, uh, who, who's my guys that just Astros. won? Astros. The Astros. Go Astros. <laughs> Go Texans. Rockets. Dynamos. Come on. I love my city. Um, and everybody in it, the, the musicians, the artists, and the vets. I am Everything. Thrilled. I'm all about love. I am. <laughs> <laughs> That's me, in case y'all ain't know. Yeah. My son is a musician as man, well. Man, let's go and give him a spotlight. Come on, Prince. What's up, man? Tell the people what you've been doing. Um, I currently go to HSPVA, and um, I'm working on a concept album called Box of Crayons. Um, each song is going to have a different emotion tied to it. So the first song is going to be called Red Crayon, and it's tied to heartbreak and love and everything. And, yeah. How many instruments you play, man? Uh, about, let's see, I can sing, play piano, I'm learning guitar and bass and I can play a few percussion instruments so five how, how long you been doing the music um since 
I was four. That's when I started learning piano. Look at Aunt Boogie, proud. He in the background. I got you. I got you with the visual. I got you with the visual reference. <laughs> he put the four fingers up, right? When you said my four, four. <laughs> but yeah, man, what you what you like? What kind of music do you say is your genre? Um, maybe alternate pop, maybe. Alternate pop. He, he, he created one real quick for you, boy. <laughs> you, 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 you in your own lane is what you're trying to say. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I haven't really given it much thought. He's not a man of many words, except when he's writing for his new song, Red Crayon, on the box of crayons. Look, I picked up all that. Give me something right there. Ooh! Hey, this whole thing right there, man. Hey, it's your boy, I am Jarrell. Y'all standing here with the boogies. And uh, this is the manager, you said, of High Volume Live, right? And this is Kimberly, the manager of High Volume Live. She's been doing some things up here, making sure things go the way they're supposed to go. Anything you want to let the people know if they want to get the vent or get the venue? If you've not been out to check it out, come out and check us out. We're open and we're waiting on you. Open and waiting on you. Heard it right here first on Pop Up TV. We had high volume music live, man. Y'all get ready to get in the spot. We'll see some more events uh, of the event later on, so stay tuned.